traditional red vinaigrette. That's gonna be good. Okay, round two, ladies. You ready? Yes. It's called a heart throb salad. It's got hearts upon, artichoke hearts, and romaine hearts. And then we did a Cabernet Sauvignon vinaigrette. And I also put a little bit of sun-dried cherry in there to make it look a little red, okay? And then you're gonna get a lobster bisque that's going to be garnished with micro chives and creme fraiche. Um, I'm sorry, it's a, uh, an asparagus yeah, bisque, yeah, which I had to make the day before because it doesn't have any flavor unless you do it. And the other one is we're making some crepes. And the crepes have wild mushrooms and shrimp and a cream cheese mousse inside and a warm lobster sauce that's poured over the top. Frank was going to show you how we make the crepes. Um, we make them from scratch. It's really easy when you make your batter. You'd want to make it in the morning, leave it out at room temperature for about three hours. And when I make it, I use a pan this size, a Teflon one. You paint it with a little bit of butter and one two ounce ladle of crepe batter. And it works perfectly. It makes just the absolute perfect size. And when they're done, they look like that. How lovely, right? So, and um, these are filled with uh, wild mushrooms. There's, uh, oyster mushrooms, shiitakes, and portobello, and shrimp. Instead of using sherry, I used a little bit of cognac instead because the sherry wasn't, it wasn't good enough, so I decided we could use some covassier <laughs> instead. It wasn't so bad. And so, um, and then I'm making the lobster sauce over here. I have lobster stock. If you don't have lobster stock, you can go to a fish market or save your lobster bodies after you've had a lobster bake. Put them in a pot, put some water in it, celery, carrot, onions, one little can of Hunt's tomato paste, fresh tarragon, let it cook for one hour and 45 minutes, strain it, and then reduce it by half its volume, and you'll have perfect lobster stock, okay? And then I added some cream, and I'm gonna make a little roux with it, and when I make my lobster stock, after I strain the bodies and the, and the broth is reducing, I put butter on top, and as the butter boils away, it takes on the flavor of lobster. And then you can saute seafood, saute shrimp and scallops in this with a little bit of garlic, shallots, and heavy cream and chives and put it over some linguine. You guys have made a roux before, right? Okay. This is being used to thicken up the lobster stock. Equal volume or equal weight. And I don't sit here and cook it. I'm not making, you know, jambalaya or gumbo, so I'm not trying to get, you know, a dark brown roux or this or that. And since we're using it right away, I, I actually keep it a little bit thinner, so when you stream it into something, it doesn't clump up. So I took the asparagus, I blanched them off um, in that vegetable broth, so they'd have lots of flavor. Then I just saved the broth for other stuff. And um, then I'm going to add it to the soup just before I serve it, so it looks nice and green. Franco did all the uh, crepes for me today. We take the cream cheese and we whip it so it's softer and lighter in volume. All right. So what he does is he goes like this first, puts a nice little line down. Show him what you do next, big fella. All right. While he's doing that, I'm going to go thicken up this. This not thicken it up, but add this to the soup. And this is what it looks like when you add your stuff just at the end. So it looks nice and green. Creme fraiche. I was hoping I could get it to swirl on top and stay, but it's being difficult. I'm going to have to try something else. We'll do that. That way you can see it. These are called microgreens. I'm sure everybody's heard about these by now. I tried to get chives, but they came in and they were horrible, so I sent them back. And so they sent me, this is baby arugula. And so here's that nice little red vinaigrette. Oh, brings a little color to your plate. But this is a lovely salad and nice setup. There we go. Okay, round two, ladies. You ready? Yes. 